What up, good people of YouTube and beyond? It is I, Hero King Larry, and we are back once again with some more Final Fantasy 16. In the last part, we uh, did our five-year time, our five-year time skip. We did uh, all of the uh, side quests we could, and we, uh, yeah, um, I don't know what that was, but uh, now though we are on our way to. Uh, Martha's rest in order to find out what happened to her and where she at. So, uh, how about you all like, comment, and subscribe? How do y'all hit that bell for notifications? And we shall continue on the adventure. Alright. So yeah, man, how are y'all today? It is a new day. It has been like a week since I played. Uh, hold up. Uh, do something. Here we go. Uh, I'll keep that in. Whatever. Oh. Hey, what up? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. mind. Also thought you might need some help. Jeez. And it appears he was right. You uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. What? Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the abbey sheltering Martha's bearers. Mm. The bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. Yeah, call the carriage people. But, call um, them and before you go, mm -hmm. one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about the culling. Oh. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Alright. Do this. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. Clearly. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Well, let's do it then. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. Please do. What happened? The damn black shields, that's what happened. The black shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Oh. Then, they may still be alive. Martha. Do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. No problem. You you know what? She sounds like that character from Bloodstained Ritual that gives you the quest. Black Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Over here! Go! Get him! Alright. Oh, oh, what's wrong? What? Are we too late? Uh, there might still be someone inside. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's good. 1 to 10. How bad is this about to go? No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Yeah. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ah, that bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. Oh? And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? 
Have you no honor? Claudius. This won't take long. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Shit out those guys. Fuck oh, them. Dark Quail's got a... Yeah. I'm a basta, 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 basta. The breath of white is weird. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. We can only hope. Knock, knock. Anyone here? Nope. Found her. The abbot. Ah. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Oh? Oh, thank God. Oh, you. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. Black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tamar to Banks is aid. And her. This wasn't her fault. Sid, where are you? Sid. In here. We found a survivor. Clive. Oh. He's gone. We <sighs> kill him off. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bears, they didn't need to die like this. Yeah, no. Uh. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, mm -hmm. threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. <sighs> Willick's jump. The current there is swift. If the abbot was still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone. I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Damn, hey, bro. We. We just can't win. Well, 
Let's get to them. Also, a new airman. Okay. Uh, notorious marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter a harder lift, larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an off. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's spotted us all the way. What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a slightly high ball. Okay, okay. Oh, whoa. Let's do this. Oh, I missed! Dude! Oh, no, that's not. Where am I? Where am I? Oh. Down. Let get back to the park. That must be the bridge. Remains. 
Here comes the power. Here comes the power. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. There you go. You were watching? Why didn't you help me get the ball? Or the mid-boss. Or the mark. Out of the Imperials. A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I feel that. Let's go back. Oh man, that's such a Let's long run. Where we are for now, I reckon. Hey. Martha, how you doing? Uh, no one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed. One of them bad may tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. Well, that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. Mm -hmm. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? Yeah, will you? We can stay longer if you wish. Mm -hmm. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. And your question nearby. A fucking quest. Hey, look, there's a quest. Uh, the White Winged Wonder. Might as well do it. I don't know why I did that. These are always marked on the map so that you see kind of. That one just seemed kind of stupid. We're not to move. I didn't even know I could do that. I just ran. Don't just shut up. Help me. Are you handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Yeah. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos. <laughs> you heard me right. Wild birds? Aren't you the guy who was talking the shit a couple ones? parts ago? And not just any chocobos at that. Maybe. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. Whiteheart. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Mm. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. Okay. Alright. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobo? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. Mm. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You saved Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? 
There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. White She's a hero. I swear to God, Don't that's worry. the chocobo that we You'll had know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding. All right. All right. Let's do this. Might as well. Free, free EXP. Might as well do it. Hello. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. What, right there? I mean, that might... Oh, no. Okay. Well, let's get back to the floor. Bro, is that my chocobo? We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last mm -hmm. of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still. How about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Exactly. Watch out. I'm about to take the dead. Hey. Hey, yo, bro. Guess what? Crazy how y'all. Crazy how y'all are about to take the dead. Oh. Not gonna lie. I was actually kind of hoping that we were all dead after that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Flock. Boy, he, he is it over. Yep, that's is in my choke. Come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would, and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Me too. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. 
<laughs> bird like her would have cost a princely son. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Uh, oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. What? What the hell? What? Told you. And it seems oh. her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming <laughs> sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh! Stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? <laughs> she does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe old white. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry. We'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. <laughs> you have fun traveling with your master now. I will. She will. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. Oh. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. Oh, really? You are that guy. Now, best be on my way. Oh, Good luck to you, the both of you. You're that asshole. Fuck that guy. Only being nice to me Take because I'm not there anymore. I'll call you when I need you. Oh God, smoke. Oh, that's nice. We have Shokobo, the White Winged Wonder. Yeah. Oh, Chocobo unlocked. Yeah. Show me it. After 18 long years, Jesus. Clive has five every now to take a fee. Hold our secret. Good girl. Uh, how do I get? Oh. oh, that's nice. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. Can I hit you? Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my Lord! Well, that's right, baby. Chocobo combat. Oh. I'm never gonna see this anywhere else. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm done. Run! Let's run! I think just wouldn't beat this shit out of Uh I'm just stop. But let's go back to the hideaway, then we'll see what happened. Wait. Should have looked and saw what happened to us. Where's Gav? Do you have any more quests? Uh, let's see. Nearby quests? Nope. 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 Oh, okay. Gav should be back by now. Okay. Alright, let's talk to Gab and then we'll probably end off this part. Hey Gab, how's it going, bro? Ah, uh, 
Clive, how oh, I've missed that scowl. Yeah. Where's my report? <laughs> what, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Exactly, I'm not up with that. Now bullshit. sit down, you fool. Better get up. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Mm hmm Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <laughs> And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Okay. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fan will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. You didn't figure that out. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Meanwhile, you know, we just turn over to the other enemies and they're like, Oh yeah, you know what, man? No, man, no. Planet! We know it was planet, bitch. It's like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. Otto's counter is now open. Okay. New facilities! I found one of the hunt board. All three of the auto mass. Oh my God. This is side quest central. Whoa! Let's see what we got first. What are we waiting for indeed? Well, first off, there's a second side. That's a music box. You look like you could do with a drink. Man, you know what? Fly around for everyone. As if setting our people free wasn't enough. Good news, everyone. The casks have been liberated. Is to Sid. I'm just being that guy, you know. Just helping out the party, you know. You know how I am. And you know. Don't be a stranger, Sid. I don't want. We're kind of useless. Uh, let's see. Well, like to touch him. Life. 
up? What'd you want? Uh, you got any weapons? Or, uh, no. And? Okay. Uh, where are we going? What the fuck are y'all doing to my wolf? Hey, oh, y'all just chill. Huh? Maybe sure. No, I need your name. Forget my insults on writing these silly letters. Would that we would that we have more time to speak to each other in person for our, for every day we spend together? If we will go, we must suffer another two apart. Yeah. All right. What's this? Got it. Okay. Uh. Oh, Clive! Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Uh -huh. Patron's Whisper. Does that mean? Someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh no, that's still me. <laughs> it's just Karen has a toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Sure. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. Uh, please. Right now, okay. What? Oh wow, I get 400 ability points off that? Hey, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, alright, how about we let that build up? And you? Clive! So, anything catch your eye? Nope. Think you can help? A new quest or nothing. And you. Fine, right, there you are, Koopa. I've been looking all over for you, Koopa. What's the matter, Nectar? Yeah. The matter is this, Koopa. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, mm. doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Of course not, Koopo! I knew all that already, Koopo! And that's why I need your help! Because I need not to remind you, Koopo, I am the mightiest son of all the noodles. I'm the fiend of the forest of the park. So I need you to slay them all, Koopo. Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war, the last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Oh, thank you, Koopo. So good to have found someone who understands me, Koopo. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the notes that get posted on the board. If there's anything you need to know, Koopo, I'm your booga. Koopo. But we do this, Koopo, Koopo. Koopo, Koopo. I'm, I'm going to read all these later. All right, let's look at this up here. Angel of Death. So, Clareville, Sanderson, and the Broken Hilt. Desire. Alright. Uh, let's get to that side quest, and then let's do that. And then, I'll probably... And not the part. See, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything uh, all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. Mm. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. 
And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers. On account of all they do for them. You couldn't take them some good. Oh yeah, sure, I'll do it. Whatever. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for it. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called. In honor of her memory. Bet. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. All right, here's the shit, guys. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martell. The goddess Martell? Martell. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> and I'd sort that one. Love plants more than people. Aye, and brave as a bane might. Mm. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Ain't no problem, mate. Others weren't so lucky, though. Here you go. A gift from the backyard for your service. Huh? I think he already gave me two. Thank you. God, I have to run it all the way back. Blimey, at least take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? They are. I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the dead ones. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clark! Tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? I got you, girl. Not so much as a thank you. Well, yeah. I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? I will. Please send their thanks. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. After all these years, I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. Mm -hmm. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided. Hey. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Nice. Alright. So. Marcel Apple. Just put. Oh. Alright. Alright then. Alright then guys, so with that, I think this is a good part to leave off, uh, and then next time, uh, Final Fantasy 16, uh, depending on how long those bounty battles are, I'll, uh, do those, and then we'll do the main plot. So, yeah, this is your King Larry signing out, hope you all like, comment, and subscribe, hope you all hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you all in the next part. Stay safe, and all that good stuff. Peace!